Dear twin, hello. Today is Sunday, March 6th, and I am exhausted. So I basically just spent the last four days of my life doing nothing but working on this one project for a class I had, but that doesn't matter anymore because it's over and I finished it and it's done and we are moving forward. So first of all, congrats on getting into your dream school. I knew you could do it, of course. And also, oh my gosh, seven people in one house. That's kind of a lot, <laughs> to say the least. I know I'm already having some trouble imagining just living with two of my friends next year, so good luck to you. I really hope everything works out for you guys and that you find the place that you love and you get the room you want and that your roommates are great. And I hope everything turns out really, really well. And as for studying and careers and not being sure what to do, I'm in the same boat. Um, it may seem like I know what I'm doing because this is my third year studying journalism, but I've been questioning it a lot lately. I questioned it a lot my freshman year, a lot my sophomore year, and I just don't know what I want to do. I mean, journalism is fantastic. I'm good at it. And I think I know what I'm doing. So at the very least, I can try to get a career in that. But I've always dreamed of being an artist, a writer, you know, something impractical like that, that doesn't get you money for food or a house. Um, but neither does journalism, really. You know, you don't start out well in the journalism field. You have to work your way up. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's okay if you're not sure what you want to do or where you want to go with the degree that you get. Because I don't know either, but I know that the path that you're on is definitely going to help people in the future. And I know that's what you've always wanted to do. And that makes me so proud to see that you're taking everything that you've experienced and applying what you've learned from that to help others. I just think that's fantastic. Recently, a friend of mine and I went out for a walk one night and he studies film. And we were talking about what we want to do after we graduate. And I told him that when I was in high school, I remember I would always tell people that I wanted to be a cinematographer. And he asked me, well, why didn't you study film? And I didn't know what to say. I didn't know why I had changed my mind. I didn't know why I didn't go down that path, why I wasn't spending weekends on set like him and uh, taking all these amazing film classes and picking up that skill and working my way into becoming a director or a producer or something along those lines. And I just didn't know what to say. So I've been thinking about that a lot. I don't really know what that means, but hopefully I'll figure it out sooner or later. Hopefully the career I end up at is the one that I meant to be at and the one that makes me the happiest. In fact, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I've been thinking about what I wanna do after I graduate, where I'm gonna live, how I'm gonna support myself, I've been thinking about my friends that I have now, that I've had in the past, people I'm gonna meet in the future that I don't even know yet. I've been thinking a lot about how life is fleeting, how it goes by so quickly, and you have to struggle every moment to make the most of it, and how I feel like I've let so many moments pass me by, but I still don't know what to do to stop them from racing by so quickly. I, I can see every moment that happens, every great moment that's going to happen, and I treasure it. And I make the most of all the time I have spent with my friends and all the good things that happen to me, and I lock them away in my memory. And I treasure them because I know that those are the good moments in life. Those little things, all that nice time you spend with people, those are the things that matter, and those are the things I'm going to look back on and treasure the most. But I'm afraid that other people, those same people that I've made those memories with, won't treasure them the same way when they're older. When years have gone by and we haven't talked for a decade, I'm worried that the friendships I've made now are only temporary. It may seem trivial to some people, but for me, it's just such a major concern, like, to imagine yourself 20 years from now, looking back on your past and remembering all the people that you loved most and realizing that they aren't in your life anymore. And I know I'm just overthinking everything like I always do and that I shouldn't worry about it and that I should enjoy every moment I have and 
just let life happen. But I can't. It terrifies me to think about this. And I don't want to lose any of the relationships that I have formed. I love everyone I love for a reason. And I love them with all my being. And I hope that everyone knows that. And I just can't imagine letting go of so many people. Even if it's years down the line, it still terrifies me. So I don't really know what this video was. I guess I'm just letting out my thoughts for once. Let me know what you think about this. Are you concerned about losing any of your friends in the future? Do you have a more optimistic view of this than I do? And if so, please share your wisdom with me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this week's bi-weekly riddle is... When is a door not a door? When it's left open and it's a jar. Anyway, that's it for this video. I don't know why I'm on the floor. This hat is a lie. I haven't brushed my hair. I'm so tired. That's all. Bye, twin. I love you. And I said, hey, yeah, 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 hey.